Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the converse, inverse, and contrapositive statements of a conditional statement. Let us first review about the conditional statement. Conditional statement is an if-then statement that symbolizes P implies Q. Now we go to the definition of the converse. Converse statement is interchanging the position of the hypothesis and conclusion. That symbolizes Q implies P. And then we have the inverse statement. Negating both the hypothesis and conclusion of a conditional statement. And it symbolizes not P implies not Q. And then we have the last one which is the contrapositive statement. Interchanging the position of the hypothesis and conclusion and then negating both and symbolizes not Q implies not P. To verify that the statements are correct, we take a deeper look at our if-then statements. This is why we form the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of our conditional statements. I will give you examples of conditional statements and then we are going to transform them to converse, inverse, and contrapositive statement. Let's start. So we have number one example. In a conditional statement, if I eat cheeseburger, then I will gain weight. Let us first identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. The hypothesis, I eat cheeseburger. The conclusion, I will gain weight. Now, let us change the conditional statement into a converse statement. The converse statement, if I gained weight, then I ate cheeseburger. As you can see, the hypothesis and the conclusion are interchanged. Now, let us change that to an inverse statement. The inverse statement, if I do not eat cheeseburger, then I will not gain weight. As you can see, in the conditional statement, the hypothesis I eat cheeseburger, it is now negated. It becomes I do not eat. And then the conclusion, instead of I will, it becomes negated, so I will not. Okay, that is the inverse statement. Now let's go to the contrapositive statement. If I did not gain weight, then I did not eat cheeseburger. So as you can see, in the converse statement, the hypothesis I gained weight becomes I did not gain weight. And then the conclusion I ate cheeseburger, it becomes I did not eat cheeseburger. So that is the contrapositive statement. Now let's go to the second example. In this sentence, it is not written in the if-then statement. As I've said before, some of the conditional statements are not written in the if-then form, but you can still identify its hypothesis and conclusion. Now, let us try to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion and write it in a conditional form. What is the hypothesis? The hypothesis is... A polygon with exactly four sides. And then what is the conclusion? It is a quadrilateral. Now let us change that to an if-then statement. Our conditional statement, if a polygon has exactly four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Now let us change that to a converse statement. The converse statement, if a polygon is a quadrilateral, then it has exactly four sides. The hypothesis and the conclusion are now interchanged. Now take a look at the inverse statement. If a polygon do not have exactly four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. Both of the hypothesis and the conclusion of the conditional statement are negated. And the contrapositive statement, if a polygon is not a quadrilateral, then it doesn't have exactly four sides. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you learned something today. Till my next video, 
Goodbye for now.